Hi friends, welcome to Spirit Says So Tarot. This is another timeless reading from Spirit. It has some messages for you. So we are gonna find out who needs to hear this message when you are drawn to it. Spirit, who needs to hear this message that you have for them at the time that they are drawn to this reading. Aries. All right, my beautiful Aries. Spirit, what message can we pull from Wisdom of the Oracle for our beautiful Aries friends? What do they need to know? What do they need to hear when they are drawn to this reading? What is going on? <laughs> Treasure Island. So there may be some travel going on. There could be some gifts coming in. I don't necessarily feel like there's going to be a fortune, but I feel like you're going to be Coming into maybe an inheritance, but I do feel like there might be some travel involved. Okay, so we're getting the em Emperor at the bottom of the deck. So there is a strong leadership vibration, which makes complete sense for you Aries. There's a lot of Aries in the Emperor. Spirit, please provide divinely guided messages for our beautiful Aries friends. What do they need to know about this treasure island? What is going on that they need to be aware of? We have the Eight of Swords. So right now, Aries, you feel bound. You're not able to contemplate a way out of a situation. You're concerned about something and you just can't see a way out. You've been leaning on friends. You've been leaning on people for support. They have helped you emotionally, but... Okay, we're getting a chariot here. Hmm. You could be coming out of this feeling strong and this does definitely make me feel like you're going to need to do some traveling in your very near future <clears throat> and that traveling is what you're having a hard time with. You've got some concerns about the travel. We're getting the Five of Pentacles as well. I think you're worrying too much. Spirit, please tell me a little bit more about our Aries past and travel. Is there a need for concern regarding future travel arrangements for our Aries or 
that that had nothing to do with the Treasure Island and the Chariot Temperance. I feel like you always get butterflies when you have to travel. And you really need to make this trip because the trip is worth your while. Whether you are actually going to be receiving something or you are just traveling for vacation purposes, anxiety is starting to roll in. You are very anxious about getting from point A to point B. And you are really trying to balance that emotions, that set of emotions, I should say. And you have been counseling with your friends and getting support. And they've been trying to keep you strong, but you just can't. You're, you're scared. You're fearful. Hmm. At the bottom of the deck, before we continue, we have the Ten of Pentacles. So, your fear is really not warranted. Your future is probably going to be just fine. Knight of Wands. Yeah, so you're going to have a message coming in about this travel situation. I feel like someone's going to be coming in and giving, uh, provide you with some ideas with, the, with it being a wand. This individual is very motivated to get you over the, you know, they, they want to get you, they, they want to push you into the water, so to speak. You know, they don't want your toes just getting wet. They want you to get all wet. They want you to make that final decision and get over your anxious feeling, your concerns about your travel. Spirit, please tell me a little bit about Aries and their attitude about the travel. I'm gonna take this one first. Knight of Cups, all right. So at this time, Aries, you are feeling like you know you need to get over it. <clears throat> and you are going to let this Knight of Wands, who is going to come in and address you about your concerns or feel like they need to, and you're going to be like, eh, I got this. I'm good. I just need to take it slow. Because you see how the, the wands, the horse and the wands moves a little faster. This horse is just galloping, pacing, taking its time. Here you have the Knight of Pentacles. All right, so everyone around you, their perspective of you is that you are grounded. It may take you a moment, and you see how the horse is at a standstill. They feel like it may take you a moment to pull out of that, but their message to you is that they they know that you will pull out of it. They see you on this horse making that travel. I mean, oh my goodness, look at all of these horses you have. Travel is definitely in this for you, Aries. Spirit, please give us a little bit more for our beautiful Aries friends who are a little on the hesitant side about making this trip to their treasure island they just <laughs> they're having trouble seeing but at the same time they're they're trying to grasp their emotions and, and keep their anxiety in check they've been con they've been uh, conversing and consulting with others and really really thinking about being victorious and getting through this all right <laughs> So Spirit is saying that no matter what ideas people are going to come at you with to get over your anxiety, no matter how much counseling or reaching out you may do or others may do to, for you, to you, to discuss your anxiety, your concerns over this travel situation, and even though 
your attitude is you've got your emotions in check and you're going to be conveying that to the people who have this concern for you because they're around you. They know when you're wound up tighter than a top. Spirit saying, you're still, even though they're offering you emotional support, you're still going to be you. And you're going to be anxious and wound up tighter than that top. All right, Spirit. Any guidance for our beautiful Aries on maybe what they can do to overcome this concern, this anxiety, unwind a little bit? What can they do? Will they be able to get over it or are they just going to have to be a buttercup and suck it up? What's up? Spirit, a little bit more guidance, please, for our beautiful Aries. Wheel of Fortune. I don't think this is at a line at all because Spirit is saying with this, it's what you make of it. I mean, the Wheel of Fortune does have to do with luck. Yes, you probably have to count on others regarding your travel. Look, Queen of Cups. You can do this, Aries. You can do this. <laughs> so, oh, I'm wrecking. That's not a good turn to use when you're traveling. <laughs> your path is what you're going to make of it. Everything happens according to our outlook that we have, the paths that we choose. Things may not always be in our control, but those things that are in our control, we need to make good choices and go with your intuition but I know myself when it comes to travel I get all worked up myself but then once we start traveling it's fine so be the Queen of Cups that you need to be Aries be the leader that you generally are grab a hold of the situation don't ignore the love and support coming your way to try to get you over the travel part because once you get to your destination, oh my goodness, if I could pick up this card, it's going to be beautiful. You are going to have so much fun. That's going to be your treasure. That's going to be... When you open up that box, that beautiful light, because you will have gone through the travel, through all of this mess that you feel all bunged up about, you're going to do good. So until next reading, you all take care. Safe travels. I hope this resonated with you. If it did not, I'm sorry. Please check out another one of my videos. And... Please like my video, even if it didn't resonate with you. Um, it will help get this reading out to those it may provide guidance for. So until next reading, take care.